Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, last time on Surviving Mars, we finished off the um, the the uh, series. So uh, this time around, uh, I'm going to do a new a new series. So we'll start a new game. Now, um, uh, I was pondering uh, going ahead and. Uh, and uh, building, or not building, and doing a uh, maximum difficulty challenge. Uh, and that's um, that's actually quite uh, quite challenging. And uh, uh, now I'll just show you the setup for that. Uh, you uh, you use uh, Paradox Interactive for the uh, sponsor. Um, hard. Um, no, uh, I think, I think Paradox is the only one that, so Paradox gives you 320%. Okay, I'm going to use the uh, Don't Panic logo. Um, I clicked on the wrong thing there. Um, Russia is also hard at 300 uh, 290, 220. Yeah, Paradox is the hardest, right? And then the Commander Profile. Uh, Futurist is, um, you know, uh, makes it up to 330%. And then we can uh, pick a mystery. Uh, and one of these uh, hard mysteries will take it up to 390%. Now, um, as you can see, I have uh, succeeded at Wildfire, uh, also The Last War, and also Mars Gate. I haven't actually succeeded at Metatron. Uh, that one is bloody hard, and it should actually, uh, in my opinion, uh, increase the uh, difficulty more than it does. Uh, Metatron is actually harder, as far as I can tell, than Wildfire uh, or The Last War, uh, or Marsgate for that matter. Um, but anyway, um, picking any one of these will uh, take the difficulty level to the maximum. Um, so if we just pick one. Uh, and then to make it even harder, you can actually uh, have no rivals. Um, but, uh, and then to get to the maximum difficulty uh, from here, you add on uh, all of these here uh, bottom uh, items. Um, yeah, because everything up here either makes no difference or uh, or increases the uh, or decreases the difficulty, right? Um, so turning all of these on uh, actually makes things uh, quite difficult. Uh, so uh, you get uh, extra strong uh, uh, disasters. Only one passenger rocket, um, and then. Uh, you get uh, a continual stream of uh, of um, um, renegades. Uh, rockets take longer to go between Earth and Mars, and uh, you get inflation on your uh, supplies. And uh, you can't get food from Earth, um, so on. Uh, and that uh, that makes it very difficult. Um, and amateurs, you know, you can't get any specialists. I don't think that makes a huge difference. Now, uh, I'm actually pondering doing the uh, the complete um, uh, hard hardest level difficulty. Now that I think about it, and if you do it with no rival colonies, it means you can't trade and get um, uh, get uh, um, colonists. You can't steal colonists. Uh, or get resources that way. Um, or trade for tech, for that matter. 
Um, well, uh, so I'm just just thinking. Uh, so if I uh, grab uh, oh one more thing that I want to do in game rules tech variety. Uh, so that we don't get the same uh, same tech uh, layout uh, every time. Okay, now that doesn't change the difficulty level though. Uh, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to go for the wildfire uh, uh, story uh, or the uh, uh, you know mystery, uh, and then uh, rival colonies. Uh, I'm going to uh, remove them as well. Okay. And that uh, that sets us up for the uh, for the uh, the hardest uh, possible uh, setup here. And we go go next here. And now we need to uh, figure out our uh, loadout. Now, what I'm going to uh, do here, uh, I'm going to, um, okay, we definitely need a moisture vaporator and a fuel refinery. Uh, a sterling generator also, uh, that will get us uh, a jump start on power. Um, but if I, I'm going to take the uh, drone hub out. Uh, we we want an explorer, but we want a commander as well. Uh, so I'm going to uh, drop the drone load. Uh, we'll get an RC commander, and we ideally want an RC transport right away as well. Um, so I'm going to um, I'm going to drop the uh, the polymer machine parts I'm going to drop the count there uh, like so uh, there we go so we can take a transport with us as well right so uh, a commander explorer and transport um, yeah, and I'll call in a uh, supply pod with some extra stuff uh, after landing. Uh, right, and the whole reason I'm uh, bringing a Sterling generator, even though it's very expensive, is that uh, uh, then it guarantees we'll be able to run our fuel uh, production scheme, uh, uh, even if we don't have any surface metals nearby. Right, so uh, I guess uh, from there uh, we go next, and now we need a landing spot. Now, at 41 North, 111 West, we have, I, I did some research on this, we have the maximum possible difficulty. Uh, and that gives us, uh, it's a mountainous uh, area. Uh, and it's it's high elevation though, uh, and that gives us uh, our maximum difficulty of a thousand and seventy five. So, I'm going to actually uh, start this up, and then you can see uh, how much of a uh, how, how much of a bear this is going to be. Okay, so now we'll pause it. Uh, okay, so as you can see, we've got this uh, valley here in the in the middle. Uh, now these two sides here are not uh, the same level. Then we have this plateau here, a plateau here, and then the mid level on either side. Now uh, there are uh, advantages to uh, starting out over here or over here but uh, I'm thinking 
if we start up on these plateaus, then our we're at actually maximum elevation, and that will uh, that will allow our uh, wind turbines to uh, produce double the power. Um, now, uh, whoops. Now we we start out with this sector scanned, and that just has concrete. Um, so what I uh, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, now I did some poking around before starting this up, and uh, uh, we had well, let's scan this one. We have a uh, vista, and uh, we have underground metals there. And then I'm going to also scan, because uh, we need concrete. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Is it over here or over here? Well, I'll scan that one. Uh, well, that revealed uh, water, so we got our uh, got a milestone. Now we don't have anyone competing for milestones. We have surface metals uh, discovered. Um, I really should have done this first. Uh, which hygroscopic vaporators is fine? Um, ooh, that's a good one to research quickly. Uh, yeah, we'll research that one quickly. Um, and that one's good, and that one's good, and that one's good. So, yeah, those are all good ones to, uh, to research. Uh, right, okay, so now uh, I need to land the rocket, of course. Uh, now let's take a look over here. Um, I'm going to put my initial dome over here uh, just because of the vista, because we're going to definitely need um, a very high comfort in our dome when we finally bring uh, colonists in. But in the meantime, uh, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to drop the rocket. Uh, I'm going to drop the rocket here. Okay. Now, we need to scan sectors. So, let's scan the stuff immediately adjacent. Uh, like that. Okay. Now, we'll uh, unpause it and let the, the rocket land. And uh, here we go. Uh, now there's a good chance that uh, I'm actually going to fail this uh, this particular uh, challenge. So uh, yeah, uh, don't uh, uh, you know? Don't uh, just tune out just because uh, you know everything looks like it's going well at some point. Um, okay, so. And now I'm going to pause this, and uh, you're the explorer, so that's that's a breakthrough. Scan that. Uh, scan that. Scan that. And scan that. Okay. So that guy will will get to do that. Now we have over here. Uh, no, and what I need to do also is uh, set up um, some uh, storage depots, and we're going to need for metals, uh, and we're going to need for uh, concrete, going to need for uh, polymers, and we're going to need electronics. Now, what else do we have here? Um, uh, and machine parts. 
And while I'm at it, uh, we're also going to need a fuel depot, which I will put um, over here. Uh, so if we have a fuel explosion, it doesn't take out our other resources. And yeah, we're going to ultimately need a rare metals depot over here as well. So I'll, uh, I'll do that. Right. So that gets us a uh, starting point. Now, uh, I also need to get, um, we need to get a fuel uh, re refining operation going, which uh, I'm going to set up over here. Uh, yeah, over here. Okay, and then we need also the uh, moisture vaporator. Um, which we can stick... Uh, uh, wait, well, where's the... Um, well, anyway, uh, where's the connection point? Okay, here. Or here. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, vaporator. Now well, we can stick that there. And now we need a pipe. Which uh, should connect to both there. And... Right. Uh, now we need... Okay, yeah, that should be should be everything that needs to uh, operate. Uh, so now uh, we'll uh, plunk our Sterling generator in. Right, that should be good there. Um, now we also have uh, sensor towers, which are. Uh, uh, slightly, uh, uh, costly to build. I want to build a few of them, mostly so that, uh, so that we get, uh, notices. So that's four, uh, of, uh, So that we get notice of uh, impending uh, uh, storms. Uh, with six of them, we get three souls notice. Okay, now this, uh, they got a bug on that message about opening the uh, construction thing. Uh, because, uh, you know, that one, that one tutorial notice uh, never goes away. Okay. Okay, now... Uh, we can uh, get that stuff going. Now let's find the surface metals, which are over here. Uh, transport. We're going to grab uh, all of the stuff there, and we'll drop it here. That will get us uh, metals. Right. Okay. Now let's uh, up tempo on this. Okay, and we need metals for that to... Uh... Okay, now I'm going to, to go back to Earth here. I'm going to call a supply pod. Now... Um, I'm going to bring in... Uh, some. Of, I'm going to bring in one more of those. Uh, two of those. One of those. And a couple more drones launch. Um, and then I'm going to go up here. I'm going to call in one more, which is going to have a... Um, I 
I can bring one bring those in. Uh, no, uh, I'm going to bring a drone hub. Yep. Uh, right. And I'm going to bring more of those and more of those. And another drone. Okay, launch. Okay, so that should be should be should be good there. Uh, we've got the we're loading up metals there. Good. Uh, okay, Soylent Green. <laughs> yeah, that's not a terribly useful one. Um, yeah. Yeah, in case you are one of the few people that doesn't know the uh, tagline for the Soylent Green movie, you know, it's a Soylent Green as people. Um, right, so uh, if you haven't seen the movie, you know, spoiler, but that um, Soylent Green as people is the closing line of the entire movie. That doesn't actually spoil what's going on in the movie all that much. Uh, it's more of a uh, dystopian... Uh, Oh, we have text. Explorer AI. Open research screen. Uh, Explorer AI. Yeah. That one gives us uh, extra sponsor research from the explorers. Okay. So we'll definitely research that first. Um, okay. These things need to get here. They're going to be... Okay. We've got our medals coming in. You can land here. You can. You can land here. Uh, right, and then we can salvage these for metals as well. So actually, the cost of a pod <laughs> is pretty low to uh, to get. Uh, what's this? Uh. Okay, uh, reanalyzed, the data seems correct, deep water, deep metal extraction, hmm. Hmm, that's a, that's a toughie. I think this will pay off better in the, the long run. So let's see, where are they? Way down here. Oh, wow. Okay. I probably should have taken the uh, new deposits. Uh, okay, there's... Oh, they're not in any convenient place. Okay. Uh, new techs are available. What have we got? Adapted probes, drone swarm, Earth Mars initiative. Uh, Earth Mars initiative is also uh, research. Um, yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, and you are producing one. You are produce. You are using one. Okay. You. Okay. Power. Okay. Oh, we have an anomaly. Right. Explorer. We'll scan that. There's our concrete deposit. Good. Okay. So now I'm going to. Uh, Oh, uh, subsurface. Okay, uh, what what am I doing here? I am uh, building a concrete uh, extractor. Uh, we'll build that there. 
and I'm going to need a oh, am I going to run that with soul? No, I'm going to run that with a uh, wind turbine. Okay, uh, and I'm going to also put up that drone hub that I brought in, uh, which uh, I will connect in over here as well. Okay, now uh, I need to, well, we're going to, oh, that needs concrete, so I'm going to need to uh, also uh, put one of these up. Put a couple of those up. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, so that's going to get that up. And then uh, that just needs metal and uh, machine parts. Right. Well, what I can do, I'm just going to turn that off. No, I'm not. No, no, don't click on the right things, you idiot. Um, right. So we're going to have a uh, substantial uh, uh, disaster pop up real, real quickly here. I'm pretty sure. Um, Anyway, uh, I was kind of hoping that first breakthrough would be autonomous um, extractors, but uh, it wasn't. So uh, if we get autonomous extractors, we'll be able to, uh, to run everything uh, for a couple hundred sols before we bring in any uh, colonists. Oh, okay. You uh, come over here. Right, that's going to get things moving faster. Okay, so that goes up. Bang, we've got more drones operating. Okay, good. That's getting stuff moving there. Uh, this, uh, the concrete extractor comes online. Uh, and now we don't have enough power. Okay, concrete extractor will just run that during the day. Okay, new anomalies found. Ah, okay, well, where's the explorer? There's the explorer. We'll go analyze that and that. Yep. Right. Well, uh, I think that's a good spot to leave this here for, for this part. So. Uh, come back next time uh, as we continue getting things uh, started up on our colony. Uh, so, you know, that's all for this time. Uh, you know, stay healthy. Don't let the uh, ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And, uh, yeah, uh, see you next time.